Based on Faraday's law, if you change the ratio between the voltage and frequency, you'll develop the motor's rate of torque. In this graph, you can see the frequency on the x-axis and the voltage on the y-axis. A common US winding will be 230-60 Hz, as seen here, or 460-60 Hz, seen up here. These lines represent the two different ratios between frequency and voltage of these motors. We also know the speed of the motor is directly proportional to the output frequency to the motor. That is based on this equation. The number of poles of the motor will be known, such as a four-pole induction motor, and then based on the output frequency, we can calculate the RPM. For the standard four-pole induction motor, running at the standard rated speed of 60 Hz, this speed will be 1800 RPM minus the slip. Next is the relationship between power, torque, and speed. Since we already know the torque is constant when keeping the voltage and frequency ratio constant, the only effect on power is the speed. If you increase the speed, the power will increase proportionally. All of this information is pulled together and shown on the power and torque curves. Again, we have the frequency on the x-axis, and this time we have power and torque on the y-axis. The torque is constant until the rated frequency, because we're keeping the volts and hertz ratio constant, and the power is increasing directly with the speed based on this equation. Beyond the rated frequency is the field weakening range, where the torque drops off and the motor characteristics change. With a traditional line-fed motor, you're outputting the rated frequency and voltage to achieve the rated torque at full speed. By utilizing a VFD, you can choose any frequency on this line and achieve the rate of torque of the motor at your desired speed.